So I'm very excited to see what this is going to look like. I don't know. I have not seen anything because the sky has been so cloudy. But the new telescope has arrived, it's set up, and the unveiling is just about to begin. Hi, I'm Pat Prokop and welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy, June 18th, 2018. The sky has been cloudy since May 9th, only three nights of decent seeing conditions since then. Tonight the sky is somewhat clear, but there are still some high thin clouds coming across. But things are changing a little bit, the air is drying out, and the rain seemed to be easing up just a little bit for a while maybe I'll be able to get out and try out my new telescope. Now recently you've been seeing some of my uh, Facebook postings and my videos on YouTube from the uh, Celestron 11 inch Edge HD uh, telescope. I've been getting some fantastic pictures of Jupiter and Saturn and Mars from this telescope here along with a uh, four element Orion uh, two times barrel lens that helps uh, with this to amplify the image. Also I've been using for uh, wide space views this uh, Orion uh, ED this Orion ED80 uh, carbon fiber telescope. The edge from Celestron uh, is a F10 telescope. Now with the uh, Barlow lens it's kind of like an F20 not quite F20 but F20 uh, it's very narrow field and very high focus for the planets. What about the nebulas, the galaxies, the star clusters? Well, the carbon fiber, the carbon fiber ED80 is pretty good at that at F6, but things are changing. I got a new toy, if you want to call it that, a new instrument. It is now the uh, unveiling of this new instrument that I'm going to be doing tonight, and it is a Muscatoff Newtonian telescope, and it's a 190 millimeter or 7.5 inches mirror and with that I should be able to see magnitudes down to 14 incredible in that but the field of view is 5.3 f5.3 so I'm very excited to see what this is going to look like I don't know I have not seen anything because the sky has been so cloudy but the new telescope has arrived it's set up and the unveiling is just about to begin. Well, to have a good astronomical night out, this comes in really handy. This is the Pat Prokop kegerator. I got Coors Light and Blue Moon Belgium White beer on tap. And nothing tastes better than cold draft beer on a hot night. It's 92 degrees out here, by the way. At the In case moment. you're wondering why I call it Heavenly Backyard Astronomy, because it's part of my Heavenly Backyard Garden, and the telescope is situated right in the center of the garden. Basically, the upkeep of this garden keeps me off the streets during the day, and the telescope keeps me off the streets at night. Let's unveil it. Up there you can see it, uh, closer view, the uh, cameras, all the wires coming down off of that that goes into the laptop. The lap and there's the telescope. The Orion Muscatop Newtonian 190 millimeter telescope, about 7.5 inches on the mirror. The mirror is back here and the lens is over here. I got it covered at the moment. Uh, this is my um, StarSense auto alignment device for the uh, Celestron CGEM2 mount. This is my guide scope with the uh, star shoot uh, from Orion. This is the camera itself. This is the Altair Hypercam 183C. That's a C for color. And this is an amazing camera. It's a CMOS. It's not a CCD. It's a CMOS camera. And you look at it through the top of the scope through a reflector mirror, but unlike reflectors, this has a uh, corrector lens on the front. 
so there's no plates going across to hold the uh, the uh, the mirror, the secondary mirror, in place. Hence, you don't get those star spikes. This is not an astronomical piece of equipment, but it's very, very beneficial. It's a mosquito chaser. It works. Uh, the, the, the blue one. Well, there's the moon, and there's Jupiter on the left. You see Jupiter right there, that little dot in the sky. But on the other side of the sky, we have, up in that general direction there, the Big Dipper. And above the bowl of the Big, of the Big Dipper, there is a galaxy about 23 million light years away called M51, Messier 51. It's also known as the Whirlpool Galaxy. And that's the target I'm shooting for. And this is just another feature of the Heavenly Garden at nighttime. Heavenly Backyard Astronomy.